Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I think Jordan might be incapable of not making a sound for at least a minute. I think it's impossible. Little Z. I've got a hole in my pants today, so I'm going to try and not spread the camera. <laughs> Pop it one. Um, no, nah, there was one time I didn't talk for ages, and then I was like, hello, because I was like, I haven't talked. And director Connor. <laughs> I want to learn how to do a handstand. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward silence when the song finishes. I love how long it goes for, man. That was an interesting a little array of things today. Yeah, it's a bit of a, like last week, which thread do we follow? I'm most uh, interested in the handstand. Yeah, honestly. yeah That's up too. my alley. I want to know about when Jordan didn't talk, but we'll come back to that. <laughs> I um, think I've talked about that on the pod. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's it really. Why? Uh, questions? Why? Uh, it just yeah, seems why? fun. It's, Hang upside down. It's I actually think it's not at all. way worse. Otherwise, you people would walk upside down. What? Because it's more fun to be upright. Otherwise, you have blood Yeah, but it's head. fun to do it for a little bit. Oh, well, it wouldn't be bit. called walking. What would it be called if it's on your hands? It's called handstand, handstand walking. Walk, yeah. Handstand walking. Surely we can think of a better thing. Handing. Hawking. Hawking. <laughs> yeah. we, don't, we don't fork when we're on our feet. Yeah, because it's already been named Yeah, it's walking. already called walking. Handling. <laughs> walking Phoenix. Uh, so, <laughs> no time like the... Pre- why don't you do? give us a handstand? Well, I can't do it yet. I've been practicing. Next What's, week on the podcast, I can teach you. I'll do a live handstand. Do you use a wall to practice? Is that, I haven't is done that anything about this up? yet. I've just had a realisation oh, this morning, oh, seeing someone do a handstand. I Let's know how it. we can help you learn. How? Cut your feet off. Then you have to learn, don't then you? Then you have to learn. True. Didn't you die? Oh, I guess you could crawl. Cut your knees off. It depends if you have hot lava. <laughs> what? Like, to cauterise it. Oh, okay. He's been yeah. watching Star Wars, I reckon. No, <laughs> no, so I was so my <laughs> <laughs> Dip the bottom half in lava like a choc top ice cream. Are you oh, trying I to tell me... just got it, the Anakin. Are you trying yeah. to tell me that, that you said, oh, yeah, I got my, my stitches. Did they have a lava when you got surgery? No, I couldn't think of the name, but it's a hot metal rod thing. If you got that as well. Oh, okay. Lava's probably... Soldering? Is that what it's called? I think it's literally just no, called like a cauterizing tool. Oh, cauterizing. Or... Yeah. What do I call sorter? Quarter, Sordering. That sounds like sorter. Anyway, they tell you to be do scared a, um, of the wisdom teeth surgery, but really, you got to be scared of the lava they put you in. Yeah, after. Yeah. <laughs> the, the doctors make his adventures. Like, all right, bucket of lava. All right, uh, diamond pickaxe. All right, I think we're I'll good. Get me in the tooth there. That Are would actually be fucked if I was a doctor. Like, imagine this prank. You know how they put the anesthetic on, and you know you got about like five seconds before you pass out but you can still like see. Oh they like no. put the mask on, then they go like, and get like the chainsaw out. <laughs> oh my just, God. You can't help yourself passing out. You're like, oh. In I wonder if you case, have like a, a bucket of lava. Do you think you die? No. no like I panic? Think, no. I think you might. All right, well, I'll test it on you. Well, I don't want to get tested on because no, okay. I think I might die. Do you have any wisdom teeth? But I've got rid of them all. Oh, okay. You could blame the anesthetist. For what? Because if someone dies when they're like, be like no, you got a chainsaw out and started terrorizing <laughs> the patient. <laughs> I did the correct dosage. Thank God they've got anesthetists. Before that, they would have just what burnt you. Yep. Yeah, straight <laughs> yep. in the lava. No, no anesthetic. Oh yeah, surgery. Surgery before uh, would have been called? an anesthetic is fucked. I don't know if they did. Oh, yeah, they, they did for they ages. They did, and it's grim as fuck. They used to just like drill into heads and shit for headaches. Drill. Well, no, yeah. no, they did leeches. You guys want to be grossed out? Think about yeah. doing sure. eye surgery before anesthetic. I don't think oh. they did eye they surgery. They did. Sure. I watched a video Anesthetic's about this. very recent. They like, because cataracts is where I think your lenses get really cloudy. Yeah. And they found that back in the day that like, just getting rid of the entire lens was better than having really bad cataracts. Right. So they put like a needle in your eye and like work it out. I'd rather see cloudy. Yeah, well... And easy to say now, not easy to say when you're dying of starvation because you can't catch anything. Oh, true, yeah. See. Not being able to see is it's a like big a matter deal of survival, back then. you know. Mm, mm, a lot yeah. of things are a big deal back then. Yeah, there's another and one. Now. What's another big deal? Um, uh, actually, I was gonna. I said that because it's gonna be my question of the week. Go oh, on, go we, on. We got a double we're episode. We are this having week. two. Let's do an early one and a late one. Oh, all right. All right. Hold on. <laughs> yes, it's the puppet one question of the week. Hold on, Bob. If we forget language now, yeah. do we just die? Yeah. All right. That's what's the like, next one? No, I think. No, we, we come <laughs> up with a new one. No, 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 no. Let's say like right now today, we forget that lang- like language doesn't exist. And, the, and how ev- fucked are we? Every language is forgotten. That's a yeah, good question. Like language know. is completely gone. We're just back to no language. Can we like grunt and? 
you can I feel kind like you of can, like, grunt gesture, his jokes. right? Like yeah. you, can, you can get the message across without uh, words. Do everyone that knows though, like, taxes? sign language become the president? No, no, all language is gone. You can't read signs. Signs don't exist. Language is gone. We just can't read it anymore. E- yeah. How are we going to do the podcast? Exactly. That's your biggest concern? The podcast is, <laughs> the podcast all is gone. All the patrons. <laughs> all our jobs. <laughs> We're going to lose so many Patreon supporters. <laughs> oh, oh, true. Entertainers don't exist without yeah, language. Yeah, we'd be dead. No. I, I'm, I'm becoming a mime. Oh, yeah, mime. I also do a lot of physical comedy in You Lose Your Cosplay. Mine. I'm I'm set. Jackson writing scripts for Mine. clever fucking skits. Charlie oh, Chaplin scripts. Yeah, my uh, video essays are a bit of a bad decision <laughs> in that in that regard. The only Cogga video that holds up is I'm gonna crumb. <laughs> but you won't even be able to hear like, that though. Uh, no, but you're covered in bread and you're like, <laughs> it's still a funny look. He's like pointing at his dick, then pointing at the bread, and then pointing at his it's dick. It's probably he's like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the peak of comedy when there's no language. It's like, look, he's got bread on him. Although you don't even say that. It's the peak of comedy even with language, Jackson. Don't sell yourself <laughs> short. But whoever came up with language is huge. Yeah, whoever, the you one know. person who did that, I reckon they were on a Other couple. Dude, Robert Language. <laughs> Robert <laughs> Language. <laughs> I can imagine no one's talking and then someone's just yeah, like, Yeah, and then Robert Language tree. comes out. Yeah. Every Guess time, got, this is guys. tree. Can't Every believe time. All Bob gave us English, Chinese, Italian, and French. Bob he's coming up with all them out yeah. like cash. <laughs> Sign language on the side too. <laughs> he's like Santa. He just dropped them off in different yeah. countries out of his magical sleigh. <laughs> oh, you do not want to get fucking Turkish in your stocking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Well, not many people speak Turkish. <laughs> do they if not? He's like Santa. <laughs> okay, I guess people so. in Turkey do. I think. Yeah, but that's about it. True. What's Sorry, I tried to think of a yeah. um, not very well-known language. That's true. We Turkey's don't. I don't know. It is a real language. Like I don't, I don't know any Turkey. I know so little about I it. I think it's pretty delightful. <laughs> Takes a lot. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that was delightful. Thank you. I think we're in trouble. Short answer. Big yeah, like a language is huge. Yeah. It's like everything. What would even happen? What would you do okay, right okay, now? Okay, wait. Here's, here's the game. <laughs> Jordan, because you asked the question, you have to tell Jackson something with no language, just like sort of charades it, but it's got to be a bit of a sentence. Oh, that'll be great wait, for oh, the oh, audio. Wait, even you guys good. tell him oh, yeah, this, I'll leave the room. And I'll, I'll come no, back. I'll describe it. It's okay. All right. All right. Wait, what? You're so wait, explaining something to me. Yeah, you got to explain what you're language. not telling. I have to come up with it. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Let me think. Try and come up with something obscure. Okay. Okay. No, oh, no, we've left short. No, but it's going to be realistic. It's going to be realistic. Just as like well. something you did in this week. It doesn't need to be hard. Oh, yeah. Tell me about something you did. Okay. Um. Put the microphone down, Jordan. I'm not good with this. Um. Come up with something. Things. No. Sounds like language. Um. Ooh. Um, oh, okay, okay. Do you want me to give you one you or are you good? No, no okay. it's okay. Me and Peter will describe what Jordan's doing. Okay, he's putting his hands together. Uh, he's like, my. it's almost like he's doing a shovel. Yeah, looking like he's... A problem I'm realising is charades, you can be like, fire, fire, or poking. I can't do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have to so like... You- oh, Oh, so Jackson also can't talk. Yeah. Yes. Well, oh, we're having. Oh, we're, we're simulating. Holy it. shit! Okay, because I was waiting for you to say. Yeah, no, I'm not allowed to. This is the language, me and Peter versus no language on that. And couch. I'm going to try and ignore them. Yeah. Okay, don't listen to them. Well, so, you can, we don't know what we're talking about, so I guess. It's so just this yours. is a very simple story, but I was just to tell you with uh, language. You can't, but you can't preface it. There's no language. Okay, ready? No buts. Okay, so it looked like he was digging. Or like poking something out, like maybe even a. Uh, a he broom. looks a little surprised. He's found something, maybe. And oh, now he's, he's metal detecting. He's picked he's up the phone. He's doing something to the phone. Talking doesn't exist. So we don't know what he's doing he's to the phone. He's selling a watch he found with a metal detector at a pawn shop. And now he's called. happy and he's checked the time now. Time passes later. Later on. He's uh, surprised and happy. Opens he, a car, I think. Uh, he's taking something out of a door. And he's closed the door. He's bringing it in from the car. And Jordan has... He's got the shovel back. Uh, he's again. losing me. He's flailing his arms around. This story is quite complicated. Now he's back to digging. So now he's going to put something else in the ground. And he's got okay. a thumbs up. He's They're done. Gonna... Jackson, what did Jordan do? Did you dial before you dig? What? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did I Jackson, give, give us an overview of what you thought Jordan was doing. I thought he, you know, do you know dial before you dig? You're supposed no, to I've never heard of that. call a number and see if you can dig where you're about to dig in your backyard. That's what no. I thought you did. Oh, were you doing a bit of illegal archaeology? No, the digging was already wrong. I was vacuuming. Oh. Vacuum, ran out of battery. Charged it. Had to call. Oh yeah, I went to charge it, didn't work. Had to call Dyson. They were like, we'll send you a battery. 
put it in, works. Okay, we've, if we're if no language, we're fucked. We're, we're it's so fucked. <laughs> it's so I that was yeah. so wrong. <laughs> I thought you were metal detecting, found something valuable, called a pawn shop, took it home, <laughs> then took it out of your car, and then buried it in the backyard. Oh wow! Yeah, yes, I storytelling's kind of dead, isn't it? Well, that's the thing. Like, yes. I think the reason humans are so good at learning shit is because we can pass on things through knowledge, stories yeah. and knowledge and mm. writing and like everything without language. We can't do that anymore. So we're just stupid again. Yeah. Like we lose all the scientific progress and all like you, the art and everything is all gone. Yeah. Anything I learn is now pointless because then the next person spawns and then they're like, okay, Sp- we're starting from here. Spawns is such Jordan, a Jordan, you they know how in. babies are made, right? They come alive. <laughs> they Wait, come alive. Yeah. I saw this video recently. I think it was like a TikTok. Um, but it's actually a pretty good demonstration of why language is good. So someone had made this like a uh, simple mouse trap and put a whole bunch of like s- food at the bottom of a bucket and then just put like a plastic sheet of like plastic over the top of the bucket with like a hole in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And all these mice would come and then one would go down through the hole to eat the food. Yep. Then the other would see him and be like, oh, food and go down. But eventually there were just 50 like mice in this bucket all on top of each other. And they go up and they see like 40 other mice in the bucket. They're like, I guess that's the place to be. And they go in <laughs> yeah. and there's no way to get out. Yeah. But they just keep going in. And if one of the mice could be like, no, don't. Yeah. Like, shit. Maybe they want company though. Yeah. Maybe they're like, maybe I'll climb out <laughs> yeah, maybe pile they're evil. of mice to get out. But yeah, yeah, yeah. the more mice. No, that's a good point. But then, yeah, it's just like based on them looking with no language, they were like, oh, this is the place to be. Yeah. And they go yeah. in and then it's like, no, it's just a one-way fucking death trap. Here's a, here's a crazy thought for you. Yeah. Uh, animals in the past that don't have language like that learn through their DNA. The DNA yeah. is their recording of their like thing. So like any instincts they have, you know, is like from learning in their DNA. Mm-hmm. We can do it through writing so we can learn like, a million times faster. So yep. like, you know, in that situation, we can deal with novel situations. Apparently we still have some of that though. I've heard apparently snakes is in our DNA. Like if yeah, somebody sure. who's never seen a snake, they can show them a snake and they get scared of it. Yeah. And they have no concept of a snake. Yeah. So there's Ooh. some stuff that is in our it's, DNA. It's it's like uh, the thing, I've talked about this before, how the dragons thing, right? Yeah. 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 It's well, how every culture the, comes up with a dragon. Yeah. And yeah. it's meant to be scary because it's a combination of our three monkey ancestor predators. Yeah. So it's like, uh, should we now as humans be scared of eagles? No. No, I'm more scared of like Elon Musk. Or I something. know, but then we still like <laughs> think of flying animals scary. Like there's no flying yeah. animals today that are... Scary. But we make gargoyles and we make dragons and we yeah. make... Like why do we make scary flying things? There's no scary flying things. Does everyone have a biggest fear and has it ever changed? Because I used to be probably most scared of heights. Now I'm like pretty good with heights. I mean, what are you most scared death. of? Death. Uh, death. Yeah. yeah. I don't, not I mean, scared of death. Maybe a little bit of a cop out. I'm scared no, of I'm a bit heights. better about that now. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, scared about the height though? Isn't it dying? <laughs> no, I don't know. No, oh, it's, okay. I guess it's dying, but like death doesn't uh, concern me otherwise. So I don't think it's dying. The height part. Something about the height. Yeah, I'm, I find it so like, scary. Well, some people just like, when you look down, it's like, you feel way more like queasy. And yeah, like, I feel. Yeah. Do you like yeah. freeze up and stuff? hundred percent. Do Damn. you guys remember when we did? This is so long ago. You lose, you jump off a cliff. Yeah, yeah. I and you edited it out about half an hour of me standing on top of the cliff because yeah. like, yeah. I could I not jump. That. Yeah, I was frozen. You did it though. That but is it, actually pretty scary. There's a difference between jumping off a cliff and just being high up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, that is yeah. quite a lot. Because you gotta make scarier. yourself jump off. I've been like top of really high buildings and. Making yourself jump off like a ten meter thing is. Hard. Uh, even tall buildings say it'll do me as well. Okay, looking out the window, I'm like, <sighs> I I don't get that at all. And I've done all these like things, like you know, like trampolining and parkour, which are reasonably height based, and yeah. it does doesn't bother me in the slightest. Trampolining, maybe that's why. Maybe you worked up to it. Uh, I, I've always done stuff like gymnastics, yeah. so I think I just didn't have a chance to be scared of it. Exposure therapy. Yeah, mine was like a a one big thing kind of. Like uh, this ride I went on in Las Vegas that like dangles you over the side of the building. I was like, yeah, that'll, that'll do me. Like I'm good for heights now. I, would shit I was ass. shit scared <laughs> on that ride. But it was like, it was like I was sort of starting to get over my fear. Then I was like, yeah, I'll go on this really scary ride that's literally on top of like a space needle tower. That's so and scary. And it like it's over the edge. Christ. I don't want to do that at yeah, all. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucked. If we um, underdogs go to Las Vegas, you can cure my... Underdogs conquer our fears. Oh, God. <laughs> um, if, if Zach, I'll your die. fear is death. <laughs> so. No, but if I, if I didn't have to... I mean, this is also another, like, 
uh, downer answer. If if my number one fear wasn't death, it'd be like losing someone really close to me. That's because still I'm kind that's of still death. death, right? I, I think it's like for me, I'm lucky enough to not have had too many like close people to mm. me in my life pass away. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. What about? But scary. I feel like when people talk about fears, like your your fears are extremely rational. What's your irrational fear? I, I think I don't mean oh, to throw yeah, you under the bus. Ne- it got to be needles, right? Yeah, needles. Because oh, you had a recent needles. needle experience, right? Yeah, me and Maddie both had the same sickness, and then the doctor was like, mm, "We better do a blood test to see if it's like something real bad." Yeah. And then I was like, "Oh, I've never had a blood test before." And then I was like, "Okay." And then I chickened out and I was like, oh, Maddie, you just get it. And if you have the disease, I'll assume <laughs> that I've got the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Because right. like, I was about to go into the clinical pathology and then I was like, no, I like really don't want to do this. Yeah. If I like. I hate it. If I, if it was something that was really going to like help me, but it was just like a cold that he thought might be something real bad. It's also, yeah. it's a great flex to have such good health through your life that you've never had to have a lot of needles. So you've never had to get over it. Yeah. Unless you just flex. don't know. Maybe you get a, a blood test one day and they're like, oh man, this is You should have this years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of This vac- was meant to be blood? What the hell? <laughs> this this black juice. shit comes out. <laughs> uh, I've had a lot, of, a lot of vaccinations, but never anything taken out of me, I think. Well, as a baby, surely they did. Blood tests definitely worse in terms of like the experience like it goes for longer like you feel your blood going like <laughs> and getting like sucked out of you wait guys i thought of a bit for if i end up ever do stand-up comedy all right while all right. we're talking about this, this is just about a nearly weekly nah, segment I... one of the four of us comes up with a stand-up nah, can i just tell good. you i don't want to deliver no, 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 no. i think the worst shit is when you're like oh you've got an idea for a joke now tell them the funniest way possible yeah. so you just came up with it all right um so I was at the doctor's office the other day and I was getting a blood test, wanted to find out what blood type I am. And he puts the needle in and he keeps just saying to me, be positive, be positive. And I'm like, I can't, I'm scared of needles. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. That sounds like, um, you know, the monologue of the mor- uh, the late night shows? Yeah. That sounds like a joke that would be in there. It's like yeah. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel's yeah, about to yeah, say yeah, that yeah. to start his show. Jimmy Kimmel has 20 writers that have like <laughs> half an hour to come up with a whole monologue. That's 100% like, a writer's joke. Throw that in there. What happened today? Something with Trump? Thank God we had nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know if there's news, that one is the first one to go out the window. <laughs> it's not a bad joke, but... Uh, I liked it. Yeah, I think it needs some work, but... No, I, I don't know where you'd take that. I think it's perfect. It's perfect. Well, you, maybe you could include the doctor being like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <nice. laughs> a, B. Well, there's something else there. I, I At went the to end, get... I say, oh, positive. Yeah. Nice. And uh, <laughs> I went, I went to, I went, I asked the doctor what my results were, and he just, he just sounded so amazed. And I was like, well, my blood can't be that good. And he just kept going, oh. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Jimmy Kim were going crazy tonight. <laughs> I, I didn't check my notes no document. Um, oh, in O negatives, that's the universal donor. Yeah, which is good for everyone else. Well, you should give blood. You should uh, do, do you it. have O negative? Yeah. Start giving apparently. blood. My you mom has O negative, but she can't give blood because she might have mad cow disease because she was in oh, Britain at a certain time. What the fuck? If you're in Britain for like a 10 year span, you can't you give might blood have mad still. Cow disease. My dad gives blood all the time. Respect. It's a good thing to do. Oh, it takes you? ages though. You got to go in for like an hour. Well, that's the, I went in to give blood, not to get a blood test. Yeah. And they fucked that up and it was oh, so annoying. Come on. Yeah. You're like trying to be a good Samaritan. No, nah, like... but they got the volunteers trying to poke around to get your blood for the blood tests, surely. Oh. Yeah, maybe give... not a great uh They should give you something. I'll do it if I got more out of it. You get a free source of that Jordan, that just I need cash. <laughs> but it's like hours <laughs> out sounds... of my day. It's not hours, it's like an hour. An hour. And you get a sausage roll. Jordan, I'll pay you twenty dollars to go give cash. I mean what? To give blood. <laughs> Hmm, Is that right. good enough? I might do it. Oh, good. I'm sure the person whose life you might be saving would give you. You don't much give you blood want. either. I know, but I'm not a universal donor. Uh, I think they Have still you? would take it. Yeah, <laughs> I think they need a lot. Nah, but no. Let's just criticize Jordan for not doing it. <laughs> What's your irrational fear, Jordan? I, um, I have mad cow disease. I was actually in Britain I was for in that. Britain before God. I was born. That was close. <laughs> All right, you want to. <laughs> Do you want to hear my stand That's up what bit? Happens, it's right? an utterly terrible disease. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, Peter. I found my um my document in my what's it called? 
in my notes for when I think, oh, that'd be a good stand up bit. I'm just going to read oh, what it have, says. Oh, yeah. I don't have that. That's Sorry, amazing. Peter. Deliver it in the most funny way you can. No, I'm just going to deliver it how it's written, but I'll try and do it in the okay. intonation of a stand up comedy. But there's, I think I thought this when I was just, I don't know what was going on. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> what is with Equestrian? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. No way. Oh, okay. It oh. used to be cool, but you're not fooling anyone. We're not going back to horses. We have cars now. You're not royalty either, so why are you putting money and effort into it? It's actually... That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what stand-up jokes are. I feel like this has potential to be a stand-up yeah, yeah. joke. It's... I don't know. You, you just gotta like... It just needs a punchline. If you flesh anything out enough, it can be like a good bit. I think it's more about how like well your delivery is more than the content. Yeah. All right, let, let, me, let me rephrase. That's true. Now you guys know the joke. Now yeah. I, I can... Re we can workshop this and then uh, I'll go do it later. At yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. Um, people doing equestrian, who wants to be the one to break it to them that cars exist? Yeah, that's good. Is that yeah. better? That's what the crowd are doing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, 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 good one. If there's some way you can incorporate, let me ask you guys, equestrian. Uh, I think yeah. I'm good. No, I'm fine. <laughs> if you can so. incorporate that, then puns. you've got me on board. All right. Um, <laughs> well, you're like, oh, just those, don't all come those people that ride that. horses, let me ask them equestrian. <laughs> that's actually good. Yeah, thanks, Jackson. Damn. I might have a fear of roller coasters. Potentially, <laughs> have you like not been on one? You're no, like because I used to go on them when I was little, but I get really motion sick. Oh yeah, you and I didn't in the um. We, yeah, we, we didn't Sydney. do it. You guys didn't come on anything. So I get extremely motion sick from like anything. So as a kid, I, I used to go on them and then I was like, I would just get sick for hours. So then I just stopped. So I haven't been on one. You can take a pill for that. I only found out about motion sickness pills like a few years ago. Oh really? Yeah. So I want to just have a bunch and try. We should do it. Well, maybe not a bunch. Okay. Maybe enough. You should, should we OD on Jordan's like standing pills. completely still. <laughs> He's like gone too far the opposite so, way. So yeah, I haven't really been on many roller coasters. So I don't know if I'm afraid. We I should, we should go on one. You know, I'm not, I don't know if I'm afraid no. of aliens because I haven't seen them yet. Exactly. Why don't we do the underdogs theme park day? The theme park in Perth here guys is called adventure world and it's very yeah. mid. But it's a uh, good time. I That'd be a mind, fun day. And excuse, and it's only open in summer, so we'll have to wait a bit. But I'm I'm down just for the day. How do we make it a video? How do we make it interesting? What's the twist? Jordan, uh, we try to Jordan go on gets motion every sickness. Ride. I get motion. If I get motion sickness, then that's a bad day for me. Yeah, but it's funny for the video. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Unlucky dude. Who wants to drown in the pool for the bit? For the I've bit? already got my fear. So oh, you, you can know do how fun if you want. You. I won't do it for fun, but I will do it for a bit. Okay. You good. know how YouTubers <laughs> love asking the question of like, can you do this? Yeah. What if we just did like a really dumb one? Like, can you ride a roller coaster with a cupcake in your pocket? And it's like, they, sure. wouldn't, they wouldn't care, but you're like, how about can you? <laughs> can you play Super Smash Bros on a roller coaster and we just... Uh, can you juggle? Doubles with a twist? Yeah, we're on a roller coaster. Doubles with a twist is pretty funny. We go on the kids' roller coaster. No, no, we go on the real one. We, we might lose the Switch. No, no that's you, fine. You can't actually bring <laughs> objects like that on the roller coaster. Yeah, I was about to say, what if it... Case it what if that's that's why it. it's, can you do this? It's not, we can, we have to make it work. <laughs> But oh. if you drop it and it hits someone in the head, they might die. Oh, well, that's their problem. No, it's not. It's your problem. No, You're going to be charged. You with probably will go to jail. You literally will go to jail. No, I won't. No. <laughs> nah, I don't want to. I don't think you can go to jail for a, your Nintendo Switch killing someone. I think you can. If what you, if you go into those squishy juggly balls that are nice and soft and you try to juggle while roller coaster? That's probably okay. Uh, what if you killed someone with that? Do we have any lawyers in the comments? Will I? Am I liable if I'm... If, if What if your phone falls out of your pocket? Is that your fault? Yeah. Um, probably. Yeah. yeah, you're not allowed to take phones off. Okay, what if your you're shoe falls off? Where do you put your phones? Um, probably not. I, you think, it, I think you'd have to prove negligence without knowing anything about law. Well, what you if I just say I can't? <laughs> I can't read since Jordan deleted language, <laughs> so I didn't know the rules. <laughs> okay, well, well in that then case, they can't even send you to jail because they won't even be able to talk to you. Yeah. Jail? What's that? I've yeah. never heard of it. it take me to court. Where everyone kind of just mimes it out. <laughs> That's not fucking happening. Everyone stands there. And yeah, <laughs> I think you got to be able to like justify it. Like if your shoes, if your shoe falls <laughs> off, it was for the content. <laughs> no, 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 no. If your shoe falls off and it's the right size, it's like an accident. Yeah. If your shoe falls off, but you got like a few sizes up to make it look like you had big feet and Negligent. tied the laces real tight, and it's like tight. a steel capped boot, and it's yeah. yeah, then you're done. I think it would be the negligence thing. You, you know, like you did not take I the like proper procedures. Playing a Nintendo Switch on a roller coaster does not make you liable for manslaughter. I reckon it does. Hundred percent. Right. And lawyers, let me know. Why? Why not? 
You're just kind of having fun. They should have but a clearance zone. You're not supposed zone. to do that. <laughs> you're going against policy. You could be having <laughs> lots of fun when murdering someone. Yeah, it's like doesn't if you, make dr- it legal. If you drive while playing Nintendo Switch. No, sir. Well, I was having different. lots of that's fun. Different. Why is that different? <laughs> because you're in control of the car, not control of the roller coaster. But I'm sorry, officer. We needed a twist. <laughs> We ran out. We had to do swim smash while driving. Four man pile up doubles with a twist. Oh boys, we're just going the Tesla. Oh, auto driving. Yeah. Ooh. Autopilot. Um yeah, we need some lawyers in the comments fast. Is Peter going to jail? <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know if there's a precedent for this. Maybe it'll be a landmark case. <laughs> Oh man, I was watching a video last night of <laughs> British dancing and I was like, man, British cultures has the biggest stick up their ass, don't they? They Peter, really I've think got they're bad the best. News for all of us. What? <laughs> Hating yeah. on British culture. <laughs> yeah, they can, that is us. We do no, kind of have No, it. we got a couple of hundred years of... Uh, I also do agree though. We got lamingtons too. But like... My mum's from England. Yeah, got our, zero our food is pretty average. I'm watching like Latin dancing and they're like having the best time. They look like they're having so much fun. Like it's with a partner. They're spinning around. They're yeah. like having little improv bits. Then I watch fucking ballet. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't look fun. You just look like a crazy ballet person. British? I didn't know that. It's, it's not British. It's like old European. The uh, whole, uh, the old European mm. people, man. And then I watched Irish f- like folk dancing. I was like, what the fuck is this? You should give it, give it a try. Give it a try. I watched some one guy doing Irish, like the winner of the last six. Have you seen this clip? It's no. gone around hey, a hey, lot hey. recently. Don't talk shit about Irish folk dancing because my parents have a family friend and their daughter is, goes to like the world championship. <laughs> hey, 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 that applies to me vaguely. So don't yeah. talk about that. Yeah, do you even know the name of this person? <laughs> yeah, Kira. Oh, shit. Dude, Ooh. shouts to Kira. I was actually going to uh, no, say no, that stir- I thought it was good. No, name too. No, I think that but it's, it's good in its own right, but it doesn't look fun. Like we have have a stick up our ass, you know? What do you think? Okay, so you, what do you, th- what dancing is the most fun looking and the least fun? Looking? I think Latin American dancing looks really fun. African dancing looks really fun. Yeah. Uh, least fun, gotta be ballet. It looks painful. Ballet, yeah, but I feel like it's so impressive. It is impressive. That's the point. We've gone down the impressive route than, rather than uh, the fun route. Oh, sure. Yeah, I think tap dancing's kind of got that. This guy was just going crazy. Yeah. He's kicking his legs up uh, far. Wait, you don't like tap dancing? I think it's kind of just like oh, oh, I, reckon I tap used to dancing is really hate it. Oh my god, my sister would do it, and she would practice in the house. Yeah, I think as soon as you, I was yeah. so, I would get so mad. I'm like trying to play Call of Duty. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck she's it. trying to fucking learn a real life skill, and you're playing. It's cool. not a real life skill. Where do you, <laughs> dude? Gaming has been more of a real life skill than fucking tapping your feet. Look at Happy Feet. He like saves the tribe with his feet. It's not even exactly. You know that didn't happen, right? (laughs) Boy, good. It's based on a true story. The one good movie about tapping is fake. There's no like real happy story about the tapping man. Is there a good movie about Call of Duty? What's, What's that one? No, but people do Call of Duty. What people do tap they go to war. Yeah. What are you talking no, about? John is training it. for going to war. I haven't by seen it. I haven't seen what? A tap dancer. What? In real life? Yeah. Doing the tap show. Right, but I've Jackson, seen a lot of gaming Jackson, shows. Jackson, hear me out. Yeah, what's okay. a tap show? Hear me out. I'm curious. You go to war. Yep. Would you rather be able to no scope someone or to be able to tap dance on their grave? I don't think playing Call of Duty yeah, I t- is going to no, help no, you no, no scope. No, 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 no. What do you mean? No, 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 no. That's not how the conversation well, works. Have you, <laughs> been, have you been to war? <laughs> I think, no. Nah. <laughs> how can you say this with such confidence who you haven't been to war yourself? It surely would help a bit. Jordan, you reckon? I'd have to say. Did you play More Call of Duty on the Wii with like the Wii no. remote in the gun? That would help. Oh. No, never. No. See, then it doesn't count. It's got to help a bit. <laughs> Mouse and keyboard is not the same as a gun. Yeah. Controller, actually. A controller might oh, be the least fun. And you God. know what? The controller might help. Why? Because Jordan, they will be controlled by dancing. controllers these days. I wonder if in the future, like, it'll be AI robots fighting each other. You control them. Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. So that's definitely. That I mean, case, that submarine was it by a bloody I'll give you the plus controller. One. What? Didn't go well, but it did. It's not a good point for your argument, is it? <laughs> yeah. No, but maybe if I was controlling it. Oh, yeah, yeah. If they had a real gamer behind the yeah. wheel. <laughs> It's all the soon. sticks. Okay. Do you reckon they say like, hey, can you put me on the sticks when they're we piloting that? I love I on know. the sticks. I use on the sticks yeah, all the time. Yeah, like he's pretty mad on the sticks. I like using it for baristas. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of on the sticks. Because they're going like... <laughs> Do you say like you yeah, go to a coffee shop sticks. and you see them like in their hell flow state? You're like, bro, you're crazy on the sticks. Yeah, my <laughs> mate works at a coffee shop and I wrote a visit and I go, poor, you're on the sticks crazy today. <laughs> True. Anything that involves sticks, we should say they're on the sticks. I always like, use, drum, it. I use it the they're most. On the, they're mad on the sticks. Mad on the sticks. Oh, I like good. that. Yeah. You guys are going to say that to me. 
because I'm performing in a band on the weekend. Are you really? Yeah. This weekend. Can we come watch? Uh, yes, I would really like you to come Where watch. Where are you performing? Uh, the same place we f- performed for the first time no ever way. 15 years ago. Oh, oh that's no sick. Is that the one the skate park? Yeah, HQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, don't, don't dox it. You'll have too many fans to rock oh, up. Yeah, maybe or are they invited? <laughs> oh, they might be invited. Well, I mean, that if any hype. patrons live in Perth, uh, it's probably a small number, but Leaderville HQ, Saturday at 7 p.m. Damn, Whoa, meet and greet. Oh, shit. We're doing the whole meet and greet. Cut that out of the main episode. Well, it'll be too late anyway. Um, yeah. It comes so, out oh, true. true. Oh, leave release. it in. So Make it's only jealous. the live viewers now. If yep. anyone's from Perth, yep. chill. I, I did see a live comment. Uh, someone wants to see underdogs take a dance lesson. I think that's a great idea for a that real life. That is a great yeah. idea. Ooh. I think Surely we should definitely we, do that. We all Do we all learn a different type of dance? I feel like, <laughs> and the dude, teacher's giving us so notes so funny, And then we have a uh, presentation at the end. It's a dance off. <laughs> we have a dance off and then Jordan's tap dancing and someone's trying to do crumping or something. <laughs> I think like, we draw <laughs> sticks to see who gets tap dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will happily take tap dance. I think it's four types. You do like break dancing, tap dancing, Latin dancing, and African dancing. I don't hip hop. I think we should do hip hop. Is that kind of break dancing or is that uh, different? Oh, where's ballet? They, they have a lot of overlap. Yeah. Cool. Ballet has got to be in there. in there. I think Jackson would be good at ballet. Point the toe. Ooh, Dude, yeah. watching people standing on point with blow. I've never been. I've never watched ballet before. Yeah, my cousin did ballet, so I've seen a lot of ballet. Oh, and I always thought it was quite good. Yeah, it's my crazy. sister did ballet as well. It's something she did why all the do so dances. many people do it? Who does ballet as an adult? Um, my cousin yeah, did no it until they were about hey. 16 or so. Yeah. Everyone stops. But I think that they were doing it at the point where it was like, you have to really commit and go professional. At, yeah. like, Is that a sign that it's a scam? N- Everyone what? stops. I mean, you could say the same about like sports. Professional kids. athletes. Yeah. yeah. No, but lots of people. A lot what about sport? music? Do you reckon music's music? a scam? Mate, if you're still yeah, playing I, I told music, you guys like, music's a scam. Past a certain point, if you're playing music, it's just. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. Is that the Jordan scam of the week? Music. <laughs> I, I already I, told you guys. Music's a scam. I have had this conversation where people are like, oh, he's on the games all day. He's on the piano. People love it when they're on the piano. Yeah. Jordan's like, catch up, boys. We've already <laughs> debunked this one. <laughs> I think you're probably the most competitive out of us, Jordan. Probably. Um, yeah. well, I think you might be more competitive. Oh, in some things, yeah. I think Jordan's sure. got a game brain more than anyone here. Jordan loves being the best at stuff though, and like yeah. improving. It depends on the I thing. I get way though. too frustrated on the to ever get. Like, I think Jordan likes good. winning the most, which is yes. like, just probably where it comes from. Because it's like it has, it's like the feeling I have for like Smash Bros. And now I've started getting it into jujitsu. It's like it doesn't go across really to everything. Yeah. Like, it's really funny because yeah. Zach hates losing, and you love winning, but you don't really have the other one of each other. Like, you don't really mind losing. You don't really love winning. Do you know? I mean, I don't like losing. Yeah, but you're not, like, that tilted by it. No. I guess not. Like, I feel like you guys are competitive in the opposite ways. Maybe, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's, like, a good good or bad thing for anyone. I kind of agree because it's such a shit mindset for me to have. Because if, like, we we play a board game with, like, four four people, like, if I win, I'm, like... Nowhere near three times happier than the like three other times that I should yeah. lose. It's like if I win, my brain's almost like chuffed, like expected, like yeah. yeah. And then yeah. if I lose, I'm like, oh, that was like some bullshit stopped me from winning. It's just a <laughs> terrible toddler mind. And Jordan, you're the opposite. But you're just like, I'm going in with no expectations. If I win, that's so cool. You know, it's like I guess so. Yeah, it's a different mindset. But I wish I could apply it to like YouTube, but it's just not the same. Who are, we, who are we gonna beat in YouTube, Mr. Beast? Yeah, yeah, a bit. No, Dude, it's like a. It's very self competitive YouTube. I yeah. Think. I feel like I have a struggle with I think the self competitive. I'm, I'm a bit but of like a perfectionist. Yeah, yeah I'd say not I'm not really. a perfectionist. I would say you're definitely more of a perfectionist I'm than more any of, of one, us. But I wouldn't call myself a perfectionist. Jordan, yeah. you're not a perfectionist. You don't even watch your videos sometimes yeah, exactly. before you upload yeah. them. It's not it. True. Yeah, Maybe I need to apply the mindset that competitive to that. Brain? I think it's more on like games and like beating. But it, I've I've people. realized recently that the YouTube algorithm is a game. I've been trying to play the game recently. Ooh. How's that going? Not no, it's okay. It's doing better than it was. It's hard, hey. But just like titling it something that I actually think people will click on, as opposed to just like 
here is the food video. You know what I mean? What were Can you I, doing for the past two years? Just titling it whatever I thought was funny. Um, I wasn't playing the game, but I'm trying to play the yeah, game. Can, yeah. we, can we do a bit of a YouTube digest and I'll give Jackson some tips because yeah. I've seen your recent thumbnails. YouTube digest. I've got some advice. Oh, yeah, go. Ooh. Right, we're going to put Jackson Bring on blast. Bring them up on the screen. No, we're going to put him on blast. We're going to give him I'm some look, I'm always tips. looking for advice. All right, it's got to be From feedback sandwiches, by the way. More experienced YouTuber. Feedback sandwiches only or you're a dick. Um, I like the new style of thumbnail. Yep. The saturation is too high. and it Oh, looks- see, I didn't make that one. Someone else was like, oh, can I try making one? They mm. made it. But I think it actually worked. Like the layout of the thumbnail I liked. Yep. The saturation and color was kind of dreadful. Too much. Is this a food one? Who yeah. made this? Or I don't, you don't want to put it on blast? This is going to have to be compliment toast. I don't have another compliment. No, that's. I'm not worried. Like the layout is good, but yeah. then... Um, I actually didn't make that one, so I'm not offended. Describe the thumbnail. Okay, I'll, I'll describe the thumbnail. So there's three people reacting to eating food. It's yep. called what when you don't get what you ordered. Yep. Good video. And then there's like Thanks. a big plate of some of the worst looking food I've ever <laughs> seen. There's like a prawn and chocolate and I don't know what the fuck, a sausage? A smear of something. Yeah, it looks fucking foul. And then three people looking like they're not enjoying their food. But yep. they are like kind of, uh, some, what's the word for a deep fried looking? It's very deep fried. This might get cut because I'm not sure how many people are interested, but I watched this very interesting video on, like, thumbnail colour design. Mm -hmm. Like, it's all about not necessarily, like, cranking stuff up, but creating contrast so that you can see each element very clearly. Yep. Like, because the background is Mm. super high saturation yellow the people's faces are going to get way more light. I, I do a- see like the guy on the orange backdrop yeah. is a little harder to see versus the guy with the green backdrop. Cause Can I get it up? Yeah, have a look. Oh, thanks. The guy on the orange is like really orange as well because he's also saturated. Yeah, so you lose yes. him. Here, let me summarize this video because it's good to tell you guys anyway. And whether it gets lift in, doesn't matter. That's up to me. Uh, so there's three, <laughs> there's three ways you like create contrast with like the elements. There's like saturation. So you can have like a white background and like a red thing in the middle. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like really bright red. Uh, you can have brightness, so you can have like a black thumbnail with like a white object yep, of interest. That's like the history like, of the entire world thumbnail, right? What's that yeah. one? Like that one's just black with like it's a like smear of color. Thumbnails. Yeah, right. Mm. It's like he always uses the black stage with the characters. You're gonna have to send me this video. Keep going. Um, the third one is. I think can you do contrasting like, strong colors with each other, like yes, blue and yes. red? Would that be it? Hue. So it's like if I and I do this quite a bit, like. If you have a person's face, you always want to have like a blue or green background behind them because it's like orangey yellow. Oh. So it's opposite. Um, oh, look like at my own thumbnails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, f- I'm feeling this. I'm like, the, I'm looking at the ones that are really jumping out at me I'm trying to be objective. And I'm like, yeah, this... Like your Zelda... Your the, Zelda that third one. one down is so much better than the second one down, right? Yeah. yeah. The second one down, you should have made the text some kind of red. Yeah. Because the thumbnail was all blue. It's and too then blue. It like, boom. Fuck. Couldn't you have told me this a month ago, Zach? What the <laughs> fuck? So you look at the the hue sort of range and you try to pick two ends. Is that what you're saying? Like the uh, color yes. wheel? The color so wheel, like, sorry. That's like, what I meant, yeah, so. orange over blue, red over green. Yeah. Doesn't need to be perfect every time. I also, I read a, not read, someone sent me, the guy that made that, was talking about how um, humans naturally identify with faces more than anything. That's why, like, having a big mm. face. Oh, for sure. The Mr. Beast formula is so effective because you just, like, see a face and you want to click on it. Have you guys seen that the Mr. Beast sense. YouTube plugin? No. <laughs> no. It's, it's a Chrome extension or something where you it just puts a Mr. Beast on every single thumbnail on your YouTube. Yeah, that's like, funny. And it's <laughs> so inappropriate. Some of them, it's just like... I saw the worst one. It was just supposed to be like, I'm turning this off. And it was like someone announcing they have cancer. Yeah. And they're like looking oh, really sad. Yeah. And then oh. Mr. Beast is like <laughs> next to him, like pointing at them. It's really so funny. Fucked. That was um, Pointless Invention. Oh, really? Made that, yeah. uh, damn. It's so He's funny. He's a YouTuber. That is so cursed. But uh, one, one last thing on the thumbnails, mm. the 60, 30, 10 rule for color. You want to have 60% of it be like mostly one color. 30% of it be like, a different color, and then the ten percent color will really stand out. And that's usually oh. your text, or is that usually your face? Red arrow, red circle. Oh, yeah. which you can have at multiple different things, but like that's why the red arrow is such a classic. See, it's it's the psychology behind this stuff that I've started to find interesting. Rather than I used to think of it so negatively, like, oh, it's so lame, you have to do that. But yeah, when you, you start did. actually diving into it, it is kind of interesting. You were you were taking the misunderstood artist path when that's just a path to failure. You yeah, know what I mean? it's just like, like you might as well learn why it works and then it's actually an interesting thing yeah. rather than just being like oh that works that's lame it's one of those things where you cannot mm. change it so it's best to work with it, you you know what accept mean? it. yeah i think the 60 30 10 rule has been in graphic design like forever mm. it's, After, like, it's like the rule of thirds it's just one of those things that it just you, works. It works in your brain yeah. yeah but it's like if you have a thumbnail that's like all blue yeah it's like 60 percent, then there's like 
a person, yep. or maybe like a face, that's like 30%, then like a yellow arrow pointed to the face. Yep. Like you can imagine how that would just look really good. Yep. I'm, I'm going to start applying this. This sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. This video is going in my liked videos. Because yeah, I put, it, put it, it in the uh, underdog group chat and we can all have a watch and yeah. come out with some banger thumbnails. Yeah, because yeah. Zach, you're definitely like the best at this. But do you reckon that's even like a competitive thing on why you like nah. all this stuff? It's more like... I just, I just think I've made way more thumbnails and like... Yeah, I've also done a fair bit of graphic design when I used to make power rankings for Big Win Smash. True, mm. like I'm probably just the most experienced with Photoshop. Yeah, but I also think that you no, but you're tend putting to into it on well. things more than us. Like you have more attention to uh, detail yeah. once you get into something. Well, do you guys watch like videos about doing YouTube in your spare time? No, I've started to now because I do. I do that a lot, and yeah. Maddie, yeah. Maddie hates it. Yeah, Brooks over it. But like, <laughs> I, I've been watching like tons of like jujitsu and stuff. But like, yeah. But I feel like that How is... How much money is that making you, bro? Maybe some in the future. <laughs> Wait till he goes pro. Just let him, <laughs> let him go. But like if your job was jujitsu and you like... You, you know, like YouTube... Zach I has become a hustler. Uh, that's what I'm realizing. You are a hustler. I'm very passionate about YouTube. You're a hustler, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, if I, cool. if, if, when I start working, I'm still working because I'm learning about working. Yeah. Always yeah, but, on the grind. But it's like... My girlfriend hates me because I'm on the grind. <laughs> 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 Sacrifices must be made. Yeah, it's learning about something I find fun. Yeah, but well, if like you find last it fun night, anyway. Yeah. If she's not there for the process, she doesn't deserve the reward, which is me when I'm hustling. A sacrifice. <laughs> That's going in the stand up. I have been, I have been a lot better with turning work off lately. But like, for example, last night, me and Maddie like uh, couldn't really be bothered watching anything together, so we just like went on our phones for a bit before bed. Mm. And like, the thing I most wanted to watch was like camera gear reviews and like. It will yeah, always that's be something cool. like that. I'm a bit like that now. In the last month, I've just been like, oh, watch a how to edit video or a this, yeah. that, the other. I don't know. I find it interesting now. <laughs> I'm sort of gamifying it as made it interesting for me. That makes when sense, I listen yeah. to 14 hours of editing podcasts. I've been, I listened to that as well, by the way. Over one weekend. It was good. Yeah. Anyway. That's cool. I think that it's a, a underrated thing to do for when you're into YouTube or making YouTube videos is spending your time watching similar content. Cause I know that you used to not do this mm, at all. I'm doing it now. And like, you yeah. wouldn't watch any like gaming videos yeah. or any other stuff on YouTube. Cause it's not that into YouTube. Yeah. And that's why I found that I stopped posting on TikTok because I wasn't into TikTok. Yeah. So I couldn't mm. make a good TikTok because I just didn't understand the platform. Yeah. You have to yeah. understand what others are doing and yeah. what's successful. So that's basically what I'm saying is every time I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm doing, I'm doing work. Yeah. yeah. It's market research. I'm working. <laughs> yeah. Do you uh, watch Joel Haver? Yes, yeah. I do now. Good and uh, Auntie Donna, cause they're also Australian. I figure it mm. sort of applies. I don't know. So I'm trying to like. They're, they're a lot more silly too, which you yeah. do as well. I think it's just taking it seriously. Is what I'm trying to do. I've been posting a bunch of shorts as well. Respect. He's on. So, he's on the grind. I'm trying. I'm trying. Everyone. That's awesome. What brother. a loser. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> You're no, trying. Cool. No, I've been liking the shorts. Yeah. So, seen. but uh, yeah, I found that fun. No, I think it's a. It's a definitely a good path to do because, like, yeah, it's just have a crack. Well, it's like I kind of just had this realization. It's like, why are you doing it if you don't? want to be successful. I was used to be like, oh, I don't want to be successful on YouTube. It's like, then don't do that. Yeah. Do something else. I think the, the the most compelling reason for me to start YouTube when I was like really trying, like mm. really, really hustling it was just, it's such a unique opportunity mm. to be in the position that we're in. You know what I mean? Don't mm. squander it. Should we do prime time? <laughs> oh, prime, prime time. time. Can we? Oh yeah. And then we'll Ooh. round it out with Jordan's second question of the week. Yeah, sure. I've heard good things about blue raspberry prime. By the way, guys, if you're just tuning into the underdogs podcast for the first time, this is our segment prime time where we try <laughs> all the prime flavors one every week and months late, way, way too late. Are we going to start doing this with other products? It'd be pretty fun. We but need it has to, to rhyme with time. That's the only sponsor. problem. Ooh. Feastable. Geestables. Time is. I love a good Geestable. Feastable Geestable. Geestable sounds like something you can pleasure on a woman. All right, I'm having a sniff of. <laughs> it's having a, a sniff of the Geestable? No, nope, I'm having a sniff of the Blue Raspberry Prime. Oh, it smells like a lifesaver. I have high hopes. Oh, I like. Oh, this could be my favorite flavor. What's now, hold your thought, Zach. You know those lollies that were round and had a hole in it so you couldn't choke on them? No. Nope. You'd suck oh, on lemon. Them. What? Nate. Lemonade. Yeah. Flavor. No, I mean. All right, Peter's tried the prime. I don't, I just save my thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't have any facial reactions, nothing. Jackson is stoic for any audio listeners. All yeah. right, I'm going to make a prediction. Oh my. I think Jordan's going to love it. Zach's going to love it. Jack is going to hate it. I didn't mind it compared oh, to the other I'm ones. I'm already done. But I give the other ones a one. This one gets a two. 
That one might get a three and a half or a four, even a four from me. I that was good. I feel like they've all tasted the same. I can't tell a difference. You don't have any. It's taste all buds. like sugary. <laughs> Jordan, yeah, you hate food. You wish you could have a fucking pill, nutrition pill with no taste. I'm I getting think closer. You might not have I'm taste getting buds. closer. I and think Peter's onto something. Music is a scam. Nah, Do you have good. ears? Music's Take good. those headphones off. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding it the whole time. <laughs> They're made of plastic. No, How do we never know? Jordan, Jordan is real? for sure a robot. He's like, mm, the chemical makeup is similar. <laughs> it tastes the same. It does similar. I'm hey. tasting the same 800 milligrams of potassium in this one as the last one. High potassium levels, low sugar. It's just got this acceptable. <laughs> it's just got this very, very sweet taste. It's, they all have that more taste. Sweetness, I give you that. 80. <laughs> if I had to describe the taste, it would be sweet. <laughs> it is. Have you got like it's Mr. Sweet. Potato Head ears? You know Mr. Potato Head? I it just pops them. off. Um, Ow. No, they're real, guys. <laughs> they're real. Um, what do you think about Tastes Like a Lifesaver? That's... I don't really remember what they taste like. I don't think it tastes like a lifesaver. Oh, definitely a lolly, but that's been all of the prime drinks. So, yeah, I don't remember. Jordan... Okay. doesn't know what it is. I've rated the disagrees. other two three and a half, but yeah. I'm rating this one three and a half. Yeah, they all taste the same, so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't wait for next week. I'm <laughs> on the edge it of my seat. It might be different. The lime is surely different. We have another one after that. The one that Zach bought for $8 or something. Oh, shit. Yeah. I got oh, it. that's yours? The lime? No, 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 no we got orange. two more. We have two more, oh, actually. Oh, there's two flavors. Oh, orange has always been my favorite flavor. So that's that's oh, such a bad take. That can get four. You can't have a bad take about your favorite flavor. No, you can. Like, you're wrong. Okay, then what's with people shitting on cherry starbursts? What's wrong with Cherry that? Sucks. I like cherry sandwich. Yeah, but some people hate it. That's fine. That that's called an opinion. Hate, hate Peter. Yeah, and I'm saying people. that it's a bad opinion. No, that's not a thing. Yes, there's such thing as a bad opinion. That's a no. bad opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what flavor Thank do you like? Uh, I'm, I think orange is just in most lollies one of the worst ones. It, there's, I've yet to like. No, but what flavor do you like? I like a lot of like vanilla-y things. I like cola. Vanilla. Cola lollies are great. Uh, oh yeah, I love the vanilla star raspberry. Burst. Yeah, Idiot. I can't really chime in here without proving your point. So I'm gonna be quiet. That's what I'm saying. You're <laughs> no, I don't think have... you can have it. I, but I think you can just say oh, I don't agree with that. But I don't think it can be a, a bad opinion. Well, in my perspective, then it's a bad opinion. Yeah, it's a taste that's, opinion. In my frame of reference, it's a bad opinion. That's I'm not fair. saying that it's objectively true. Yeah. Uh, Is it the least you less you taste I, a better opinion? Oh, hold on. Do I need a phrase? I'm like, I think that's a bad opinion. Would that be accepted instead of a, that's a no, bad opinion? No, I think opinion? you said that's like a universally bad opinion. I just said that's a bad take. Oh, did you? Anyway. God, this is reminding me of Does someone an like actual orange in the chat? fucking <laughs> banger joke in Inside Out. We watched that movie recently and they spill over these crates and they're like, oh, these facts and opinions all look the same. How are we going to sort them out? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> scoops them into the same thing. He's like, oh, it happens all the time. Don't worry. That's a good <laughs> That's joke. so that. good. Yeah. AIDS in the chat likes orange as well. So, uh, you, you, All right. You've got a glowing review from AIDS. <laughs> Does this help your case? I'm going to agree with that now. <laughs> all, the all right, guys. I have one supporter. It's all <laughs> on my team is Jordan and AIDS. I'm going to Peter's <laughs> side. Why say your name, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm on Peter's side. Sure, he's called it's Aiden. Sure for Aiden, yeah. Uh, Old AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even make it work. I'm with Aiden. Peter. It should just be called Aid. Aid is awesome. Everyone AIDS loves Aid. AIDS is not great. Just yeah, call yourself Lemon Aid. Aid. Gator Aid. Yes. I was thinking more like Aid. in the war. First Aid. First yep. Aid. Yep. Yep. Uh, anyway, what's your question of the week? <laughs> so, do we want to go on to that? Yeah. Primetime is already oh, over. Oh, yeah, I thought this one was the best one so far. <laughs> yeah, this one, I'm definitely the best rating. one. Blue Raspberry gets a four from me. I quite liked it. <gasps> what do people think is the best one? Is there like a... I think Some a lot people of people said Tropical, which was the first one we had. Tropical uh, Punch, which it was, was so bad. bad. Oh, what was a bad. terrible opinion. I know. <laughs> by <laughs> <him>. <laughs> <laughs> by <laughs> everyone. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Finally, you get me, Jordan. Nah, play the second question of the week. Press the button. Press the blue button. Which one is it? Third down on the right. It's the I can't hear it. Go yeah, it works. All right. Why don't we just have backwards holidays? Go on. Sam Trick. I'll elaborate. It's on Christmas backwards. Oh. 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 I see. So, here's life. Retsy? Easter? Let Retsai. Everyone say more backwards holidays before Jordan can elaborate. Okay, okay. Here's life, right? <laughs> wow. Life works like <laughs> life. What was that? <laughs> Halloween. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Independence you, Day. Like an idiot for us. <laughs> Jackson, give us Independence Day. Yad. Yad. Uh, did I tell you? 
<laughs> yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> Jordan, right, that's good, why. Okay, okay. Good so, segment, Jordan. No, what no, is no, backwards no, no. holidays? So, it's not what we just did. Let's say normal people, right? They, how does it work? Disney. You work. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you work 48 What's weeks. What's Hanukkah backwards? Hanukkah backwards is Hanukkah. Oh, it's no, a it's freaking... Not. Oh, it is. It's shit. Kind of, kind of That's hard. why they call it Hanukkah. <laughs> kind of huh? No. Shut up. <laughs> it's big kahuna. Big kahuna backwards is Hanukkah. No, it's Aka. Aka. The Jews love big kahuna. Big kahuna. Aka, Aka, it's coming yep. up. So, so backwards holidays. So still. work most of the time is like, what, 48 weeks and you go on holiday four, day, four weeks? Yeah. Don't tell me you think we should go on holiday 48 weeks. That's what, I, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but no, hear me out. Hear me out. This is we how it works. War, we work. No, no, let him cook. Let this him is cook. how it works. So I don't know if you guys have heard of homeostasis, but the brain is always trying to go back to normal, right? Dude, this guy's done research. For example, otherwise you would just die probably. Like you go and you walk around and you see a waterfall and you're like, oh my God, a fucking waterfall. Yes. If your brain would just did that the whole time, you would probably just stand there and die. But it always like the waterfall becomes boring. You Why do you die? Because you'd just be like, wow, waterfall. He thinks that you'd stand in the waterfall forever just loving it. And then your brain you always even is returning to normal. Okay. At all times. Let it, no, let I'm really it. hungry and my feet are sore. Waterfall! waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yep. a lot of the time, so it's like, oh man, I'm working. I can't wait for the holidays. I've been working 10 weeks. But the holiday's coming up in a week. And then you're on holiday and you're like, oh shit, you're just living in the moment because it's holiday. Interestingly, I've never been on holiday and went, oh, get me back to work. Exactly, right? Once you're on holiday, you're there. Yeah. You're in the moment. You're living it. So let's say for four <laughs> weeks of the year, you go through hell and it sucks and it's way worse than your ordinary life and it's just dog like what? shit. What like, we like, like, like you go to, to this... You go to the holiday place and they like stab you. <laughs> and, like, oh, I see. So you like you get tortured. So your work seems really good. Exactly. And then you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to go back to life. Oh, reverse holiday is just hell, basically. Yes. And then you go back. And you're like, yes, yeah, so I'm back. And then it's like 48 weeks of awesomeness. Do we still pay for this hell? Um, if like, because people I save up to go on like a big trip to Europe. If I'm just gonna get stabbed, yeah, I I'm might not save pay. my money. Maybe they steal your money. What? Every, t- <laughs> every time. <laughs> For a little bit. Why? So <laughs> anyone? Yeah, and then so what? We would be we would have to be part of it, of course. So forty eight weeks of the year, any foreigner we would have to steal and stab. Right. Yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah. steal oh, all their money and stab. What them are you coming they're... to Australia for? It's just like oh, I'm just a holiday. We're just like get the fucking shit. Dude, they'd be with it a yeah. huge accent. Like I'm Australian. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. No, but did you mean everyone takes the holiday at the same time? Well, like, just so, so it's in like, a four-week holiday, it's like, it's hell. So it's a four-week purge. Yeah, yeah. That's what Jordan's just described. <laughs> but no one dies. Surely we alternate so that some people have to be the ones doing the poking. Like, life is boring. They turn off the internet, no electricity. Everyone starts poking each other. It sounds like, yeah, okay. Throwing sh- you have to shit in your... Yeah, they sounds turn like off camping. the toilets. Yeah. Sounds like camping. Sounds a lot like camping. Yeah, but camping's somehow fun for Yeah, because people. it's shit. That's Peter's take, remember? That was what I was saying. Wait, so makes you, you agree ap- with You know me? when people say, oh, it just makes you appreciate things more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we already have reverse holidays. It's camping. <gasps> Hold on. This is the first time oh Peter and Jordan have agreed. Jordan, we let him cook, bro. And we got to some <laughs> shared agreement. You know, because imagine you're like, oh, I can't wait to go to Europe and you go traveling and it's wonderful and you come back to shit. Yeah. Australia's all right. Maybe actually. you need a cool off period after a good trip. So like you go on your, your trip yeah. and then you just have a week in the dungeon after yeah. you get home before you go oh. back to work. Oh. It's like Neapolitan ice cream. They don't put just vanilla and chocolate. You need a buffer of the strawberry. I like strawberry. Bad opinion. Oh, Again, no, we have a bad take. Oh, no, not this. Chocolate ice cream is complete shit. So, you know. Yeah, agreed. I like chocolate ice cream. They somehow ruin chocolate and ice cream at the same time. It's pretty embarrassing. I don't really like chocolate. Great though. opinion, Peter. That one's a fact. That didn't <laughs> oh, get mixed yes. up. Sorry, oh, Jackson. Disagree. You've got the majority here. I guess you're just wrong. Jordan? Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, I don't eat it, though. Let's go. Again, I've started with Jordan. <laughs> you got anyway, AIDS. I, I, I AIDS, AIDS you in the chat about there? Chocolate <laughs> ice cream. So what's the sort of buffer? So, like, you go on an amazing holiday... What's the, like, in between? So no, is it, yeah, never is it, do that. Is never it after do you that. go on holiday? Did, no, Peter came up with that. No, that, you got to talk to Peter about that. No, I'm... Okay, well, let's right. ignore... I want to hear your idea, then. We've said my idea. Well, I don't understand when it is. You, instead of holidays, just you just have shit, holidays. so you can't go on holidays. So it's like, okay, school school's about to be up. All the kids go to the dungeon. 
Term in the in the middle in the <laughs> and then you come Someone back. Someone clip that. And then you come out of context. <laughs> out of context. He's never going to teach. And then you're so excited. You're back at school. You're with your friends. You're not in your isolation chamber anymore. You know, right, let me do you one better, Jordan. Chinese water torch is not happening. <laughs> Reverse weekends. Reverse weekends. Yeah. For why do we have weekends if they're meant to be better than the week? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So weekends are just now going to be the dungeon thing. Yeah, that's going to be stabbing. Yeah. It's it's a stab a day and, I don't know, get burnt by the Sunday. You yeah. know what, Jordan? I'm going to do you a big favour. Every Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to come to your house, shit on your floor, <laughs> yep. stab you in the stomach, eat all your food. I'll yep. probably pour some milk on the floor. Holly's like, why is he doing this? Fucking Jordan. your dog. Like, but the weekends are too often. I think. Oh, so now we draw the line. <laughs> yeah, because you heard Zach. I'm sure it, re- it, really, it, really, <laughs> it really made you appreciate the week, though. It that's would. true. It might. It might. But like, that's a high percentage. I would just work all the time. <laughs> I think exactly. I'd on weekends. Yeah, I'd, I'd go overtime. But I would sneak. <laughs> I would just do like a lot Fucking of... Fucking joy off. is cancelled. Yeah. Imagine you tab out of your work for one minute and then Jordan comes out of a fucking closet and stabs you. No, he sends you down to the basement first. <laughs> to work. I think we might have worked out communism, fellas. What? I think yeah. <laughs> Jordan's, <laughs> plan, Jordan's plan kind of makes sense in that like, it's like, oh, you'll find joy in your everyday life. Yeah. yeah. But then what about when one person like does an activity during their life? What does that mean? No, like if someone is like, you know what? I'm going to go paragliding this weekend and they have a great time. You could get stabbed first. Exactly. And then they have a come down. Or like, what if someone's unemployed and they just have a holiday? <laughs> Wait, so you- instead of a getting high, you get low and then you have a come up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, and then it's always better. You get stabbed and you progressively get better until you're ready to go. So to you work. drugs for that at parties? They make you reverse feel- MDMA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like gives and you- then you come back and you're like, "Fuck, life's so good." And dude, alcohol is definitely <laughs> like that. No, because you enjoy alcohol at the time. It's the after. No, you have to. It has to be shit at the time. It has to be instant hangover. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of what I get. <laughs> Maybe you should drink more. <laughs> is that your advice? Your yeah. advice is get stabbed and drink more. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm and saying homeostasis or whatever is a thing. I don't know if this has anything to do with homeostasis. Yeah, waterfalls, Peter, remember? Keep up, please. Yeah. I remember. Oh, oh, Peter, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I think I must have a bad opinion here. Oh, it's got to do with wanting or something. Wanting? I think that's the only difference of it. Like when you're at work, you want to be on holiday. When you're on holiday, you're just there. I feel like you're br- br- sort of broadly describing like gratitude. You need to have Maybe. gratitude. Yeah. All right. But in order to get gratitude, you must be shanked. What if you just did a gratitude journal instead? But that doesn't work. People don't do that. Yes, people when do. When it's forced it upon work. you, it works. Okay. Nah, don't leave that in. That's... You know what I heard the other day? Just to change the topic somewhat. Yes. Please. Long service leave. <laughs> yeah. How long? You So you, you, you work for 10 years. Yeah. And then you get how many weeks of holiday? I had eight. What? That's fuck all. Yeah, it's not much. 10 years of work. But you also get regular leave as well. <laughs> 10 years for eight weeks. Yeah. That's such a crap deal. It's better it's, than none. It's eight weeks of paid leave though, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck, no, that's bro. Right. They're it's paying like, you for doing nothing. Every, I always thought that was a hack because I've only ever had casual jobs. Every 10 years, you get two months to enjoy yourself. Well, you also get regular leave. Yeah, but you get yeah, but paid you get to enjoy yourself. One month a year of regular leave. Yeah. Man. Fucking working sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter discovers work. I, I, I reckon we're close to week. get out of it with AI. Work. We're close. It can't exist for much longer. That's uh, not a great topic to talk about, seeing as maybe 90% of people work and you're a YouTuber and you're I like, mean, work sucks. We work? <laughs> yeah, but we don't get long service leave. Well, that's why we Surely do this. Yeah, we're getting right? scammed. Yeah. I'm, Where's my two months of pay? Uh, I guess I do kind of get paid from previous videos. When yeah, but I, 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 we still work. It's not really like, it doesn't mean I can't have this take. Uh, that like a five day work bad week, opinion? Bad opinion. <laughs> uh, like a five day work week with four weeks of leave a year is not normal, and it's normalized, but it is fucked. Yeah, definitely. And well, th- I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, well, but that's why people pe- say a lot sh- of people get like extra jobs in that. It's just like oh, it's just delving into capitalism. Working sucks. Bro. Hustler culture. Well, unless you like your work. Oh, like that's my a cope. work. A huge cope. You don't Do you like, like your YouTube? job? Uh, I think we're in a very small percentage, but if. If I had the choice, no, 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 no. Yes. If I had the choice to not do it and just do whatever I want, I wouldn't do it. Oh, you wouldn't right, like. I would make vastly different videos oh, if I made videos at yeah, yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. And not to say I dislike it, but what like, do you think you would do if you just had money was not a problem for you? Oh God! Did you see? Can I probably tell go on lots of holidays? Yeah. You fool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you see? Probably get locked in a dungeon. There was a guy with a hacked credit card. 
that when traveling for 17 years before getting caught, the card would just, whenever he like tapped it, it would just, it was hacked to like give the right amount of money. Right. Or like at least make the machine think that he had paid the right, right. amount of money. Well, and then they so just couldn't he, dot track him down, even that though is amazing. Like, we got scammed today. Yeah, he just like had a hacked chip in his what phone or like a card or something. Didn't get caught for 17 years. How'd just they catch him? around with like it literally the fucking infinite money glitch. Yeah, that's he did what sick. Peter would do. Do you think you'd still make videos if you had unlimited money? I mean, um, you're pretty close to Tesla probably, and all that. Probably. <laughs> I'm pretty what? You would. <laughs> pretty close with the Tesla <laughs> unlimited money. That's so funny. I wouldn't at all. You wouldn't make videos? No, no. I don't think I've made money on like my last five videos. Yeah, probably makes sense. I like lose money, but then all my old Smash videos like still mean I have a pretty decent income. And yeah. I can, but mm-hmm. it's like after paying my editor who spends like a long time editing and like if I give away prizes or And your shit, time is another thing we don't... Yeah, I'm doing... In. At the moment, time I'm doing money. a little bit of like Mr. Beasting. Oh, I just don't factor my time as being valuable. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> in terms of like video return. Yeah, but yeah, but it, it makes sense to think about that. Like when you run your own business, it's hard to think that, it that is, way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because most business owners don't for the first year, they just work like yeah. seven days a week. Yeah, it is. It's very good having all these old smash videos that are a bit of a cash yeah. cow. So I can use that money to like reinvest in like my current real life videos in an attempt to like, the pivot almost Yeah, get a new audience. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's exciting. I love your new video style. I feel like it fits Thank what you. you like as well. There's a lot. so much good stuff coming. I, I've hit uh, some new motivation. I'm going to be honest, the first like four months of this year have been like so shit for my like productivity mm. and like uh, my mental state. But then uh, it's all been going well lately. So Ooh. that's you know good what I, did? I got exciting things coming. Do you reckon that's because you're doing stuff that you're enjoying more? Or? Yeah, I thought of... It's like the more video ideas I thought of that I was actually passionate about. Yep. Mm. Like I was going to do more Smash videos in between, but I'm very sorry to the people that really like my Smash stuff. There's not too much uh, coming in the pipeline. Just uh, watch Underdogs Gaming for yeah. Smash. Yeah. That's, like, That's, yeah. A fair That's what bit I of gaming. say all. The, we have so many Smash videos yeah. on our channel. Like if anyone's like, make more Smash, Zach. Just or it'd be like, there's millions of them, bro. I still love playing Smash. It's just like not what I want to... Spend my like editing and planning time yeah. doing. There's enough content of us playing Smash. Like I know, like said. it's and such a stupid videos, criticism. I get I that all the time. Watch. Make Smash videos about no, uh, <laughs> you can watch them. Yeah, elsewhere. I, st- I still watch most of the Underdogs gaming videos too because I like really fucking enjoy yeah. them. Yeah, funny. Um, would you make videos? No, if you had definitely LOT? not. No. Nah. What no. would you do? Just jujitsu wow. all the time. Probably yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, He'd it would have been Smash life. or Smash tournaments would have been before. Yeah. But yeah, you just can't really make money off that. Would you really focus all your effort into Smash tournaments? I would have before, now it probably would be Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, right. I think what I would do, actually, is not just make videos, but travel the world and make videos about that that I can look back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's I, tra- so I should I'm say... Still, I, I'm like practicing the filmmaking and like getting cool shots and that. But in places that I also I also really like traveling. Yeah, That'd be fucking yeah. Sick. True. I should say also, yeah, I would travel like the entire world and like yeah, hang yeah. out with Holly and everything. But in terms of like, oh yeah, something I'd be I'm doing. Like, I was more curious about the actual. Would you still make the in videos spare aspect. time? Yeah, yeah. I think spending a lot of time, like not like doing tourist stuff, spending a lot of time in a lot of different places would be really cool. Oh, that'd be so sick. So yeah. that would be that would be good. I would love to just you know like literally like year. yeah two months six months yeah. a year and just like live in a different place every time. Oh, yeah, until you get sick. used to like the culture and everything. Yeah, I That'd feel like cool. that would be, and it would make you such a wise person, I think. Surely. Surely you'd be wise. I think, you know, people, they come back from their two month Europe trip and they're like, it changed me. I'm enlightened. Try fucking 20 years and yeah. then come back to me, you know? Like, you must be a fucking genius. Mm. Why do they say <laughs> that? It gives you a new perspective. I think being away from your home and comfort gives you. I think comfort is uh, uh, can be a trap. I think I've been having this thought. Lately, Absolutely, so it's true. just like you just don't want to grow as a person because you don't need to. So true. What is it like? The devil you know is better than the other one. Something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if that's really the point Jackson was saying, but we'll take it. <laughs> I think it was. I just don't think you said it at all. I don't correctly. know the other bit of the. Sentence. I don't know what it is. The devil you know is better than the devil you don't. Yeah, that's no, that's not one. right. I. He, the early no, bird catches the worm. No, that's, that's the right it. saying. Oh, that is it. Is it? Yeah, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. A, a bird in the hands worth two in the bush. Isn't that the opposite of what I'm saying? No, that is what you're saying. The devil that you know. No, no, no. People say that, but they they say that because of their they like their comfort. Oh, right. All right, it's coward talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. are there so many sayings about birds? Oh, I feel like there are so many birds. birds. I mean, ancient humans just looked at birds a lot. Yeah. Then you have... um. So they, they did have much else to do. Shit. You know two birds with one stone? Yeah. 
Uh, my theory is that that's why Rock is good against Flying type in Pokemon. That's yeah. Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, because one hundred percent. It's apparently confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine trying to kill a bird with a stone in real life. You're fucked. Isn't that effectively what guns are? Yes, just a very fast yeah, stone. Well, we just blo- we like just like got slingshots that were really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, and now they do the clay pigeon shooting. Maybe they did slingshotting pigeons. Back they in definitely the day. probably yeah, they did. Right? Did you see the Simpsons? <laughs> they try. Oh yeah. yeah. Didn't you see the Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they correctly predicted Trump as president, so I love their predictions. Maybe stuff. they've got so it all right. Good. Yeah, Simpsons did it with everything as a good meme. All right. Do we end it there? I think we do. We've we've really covered everything today. Yeah, we yeah. talked a lot about YouTube stuff, but and I think Simpsons that's fine. did it all first. So <laughs> not much else to go over. Yeah. Full circle. Guys. Simpsons have done everything. If you want to find something out, watch the Simpsons. All of it. That's our advice. Or Jack and we're gonna live in a glass bowl soon. Glass oh, that's dome. the movie, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. All I mean right. COVID that was, was kind of that. COVID, yeah, yeah. I was gonna right. say they kind of did predict it. Thanks very much for coming, uh everyone, including you aids. Uh have a I good didn't weekend. Come. Did you guys? Yeah. Why'd I say that? <laughs>